Hi, this is Pedia Bergzerg Arcade at BergzergArcade.com and today we're going to work on our clothing class. So let's go ahead and open up Unity. And under scripts, I'll go to the items folder and I'll create a new class. And I'll just call this class clothing. We'll open that up in mono develop. Be sure to change the name. And this is going to inherit from buff item as well. I'll get rid of the system collection, keeping Unity Engine in case I want to use the debug log statements. We'll get rid of the start and the update. Now, just like before, buff item holds all of the buffs that we're going to have. So all we really need to have here is uh, the equipment slot, which will be another public enumeration. I'm going to call this something a little different. I'm going to call it armor slot because it's also going to be used for armor. And I'm going to start off, you know, you have your helmet, which will be your head. And we'll want shoulders for pauldrons. And then we're also going to want uh, something for our... Uh, now I'm going to include the whole chest and arm area all in one. And I'm just going to call it upper body. Now of course you can break the body pieces down as much as you want. So you could have you know chest and your upper arm and lower arm all separate. But I'm just going to keep mine really simple and just group them together. Now I'm going to keep my torso separate. And then we'll also have legs. And we'll have hands for gloves, feet for your boots, and I'm going to say back. And that's for your cape or maybe some sort of enchanted backpack or whatnot. And that's quite a few of them. So what do we have here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different slots. That's, that's quite a bit. In jewelry, we had one, two, three, four, five. So that's pretty good. That's 13 slots total that we can carry buffed items, not including our weapon and shield. So I'm going to come up here and create a private armor slot. And of course, I'm just going to call this slot. And just like in jewelry, it's just a place to store what slot the armor is going to be in. Now a little later on we can come back and revisit this and maybe have different types of armor that could take up more than one body slot. So for instance a robe. A robe could take up you know your upper body your torso and maybe it's a hooded robe so it also covers your head and when we do that we'd have to switch this over to an array but for now we'll, we'll just keep it simple it's we're only going to have armor that forms for one body part so we'll create our default constructor and I'm going to set our slot to default to uh, let's do head and then an overloaded constructor and that's going to take in an armor slot which we'll call slot without the underscore and we're just going to assign our local variable slot to the variable that we're passed. Then we have to make our accessors. So public 
uh, returns an armor slot. And I'll just call it slot. And we'll need a get and a set. And the get just simply returns our slot. And for the setter, it's just going to say that our slot is equal to the value that it's passed. And later on, we come back, do some sanity checking, make sure that, you know, it's an armor slot being passed in before we try to assign it. But let's just get the structure up and running. Now, it should look pretty much exactly like it does for jewelry. Except the names have changed. But that's pretty much it for our clothing. Uh, next, we'll move on to actual creating armor, which is going to inherit from clothing. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.